all right welcome to my youtube channel my name is kudzai olokani before we go any further would you kindly take your time to click on the subscribe button and click on this bell notification so that every time i post anything new you get notified okay so as everyone in the in our whatsapp groups and on telegram channel as you have seen uh, Blockflux has launched a new coin called Bad Flux Coin. Okay, so today's task is all about creating the wallet so that we can store those Bad Flux Coin. Okay, so this is my Facebook profile, and if you come here, this is my username. You can actually see a post that was made um, like an hour ago. Okay, today. So. This is what it says. Um, one BFL is considered one dollar. Although market is not available and value is not approved, but we're experimenting our market strategy. Every account with fifty BLF has fifty dollars, but only valued in the house. That is unlike inside Blockflux family. Outside the household, it's still it's still zero dollars because it hasn't been launched yet. Two token offering and exchange offering investment with Blockflux one will be. And we'll come to an end and every account must withdraw token to wallet. So that's the reason why we are creating this um, this token wallet. Okay. That's why we're creating this wallet so that we can store these tokens. Okay. Preferred wallet is MetaMask and Gutter. Step one, download MetaMask and sign up for an account. Step two. Okay. So we're going to do everything that's written here. Okay, so one of the reasons why I had to post this is because of this contract address. You need this. Okay, you need this token address. Okay. First things first, we need to go to, because this is a PC, we're going to use, we're going to need gather. Okay, then on the Android, I'll do another video for, for MetaMask, but for now we need gather. Okay, so I'm just going to okay so we're just gonna come here and type gather okay so it's basically gather.com okay then it will take you on this page all you gotta do is click create a new wallet okay so it's gonna prompt you to put a password so i'm just gonna generate my own password real quick okay so after i've generated my password as you can see here it's written password security well done meaning to say i've managed to create something that's a little bit uh complicated okay so i'm gonna come here and say i've already done okay this one is already in my head so i'm just gonna click i've already done i've written it down then uh i can choose to save that's as if i have if i'm the only one who have um, access to this computer okay i can save the password oh i can just make it stay inside my head okay so now we're patiently waiting for it to um finish whatever it's creating then we go to the next step. Okay, creating um, XMR wallet. This is actually like a multi wallet, like it's a multi. Uh, that is like for all types of like coins all over the world. Okay, it's a um, it's a big vault. Okay, backup is key to your funds please save your backup file and keep it properly as well as password it ensures access to your funds access to the wallet is possible only using both password and backup file gather does not keep not able to restore your backup and password only you have access to your wallet never share it with anyone so guys if you lose this uh this backup not not even me no, no one can help you okay you have lost even all the uh, the block flux coins that you're gonna keep in there now that we have this uh the wallets we go to um we go to that facebook post and just check what's the next step now we have gather um we have created an account we have signed up for an account click on add token link and tap on custom token located at top right okay copy the contract address and press inside the box then done or return button on your keyboard okay so what we need is this contract address right here then we go back to back to okay so now when we're back to guide the wallet what we're gonna do is use the search box here to type ethereum okay 
right? We have Ethereum Classic, but we need like this one. Okay, this is the Ethereum we need. Then what we're gonna do is click on more info and all um all the address formats. Okay, so we can come here and click add your custom token. Okay, that's the same place. So once it opens here, you just click add your custom token. So where where can we find this custom token? It's right here on this Facebook post I made. Uh, you just come here, copy it like this. Uh, it's already shared in the WhatsApp group and so forth. I'm also gonna share it below this video, okay, in the comment section. So you just copy it, go back to gather, uh, right click and press it. Then you click add token. Token already added, okay. Token already added. That is like I've already added it. So after doing that on your side, you see here where it says Ethereum and there's this um, drop down arrow. You just click on it like this. If you scroll down, you should be able to, to locate Bedflux. Okay. Alternatively, you can just click on this drop down arrow and just write bad here. Yeah. The moment you write the bad, Bedflux will pop up. Then you click on it. Remember. What we need to do right now is to withdraw our uh, Bedflux coin from the Blockflux uh, platform. So you click on receive. It should be receive. Oh, it's right here. Okay, it's on receive here. The, the tab is receive. If you're sending, but now we're focusing on receiving only because we ain't uh, gonna use them anytime soon until next year. Okay. So you copy this address right here. Oh, it has been copied to the clipboard. You just click on it. It will be copied to the clipboard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head to my um, Blockflex account and press this address because I just do this. Then all I got to do is go to my account and I'll show you where to put it. There we go. Once I'm inside my Blockflex account, I'll on the dashboard. Okay, all I got to do is click on withdraw here. Okay, then I'll scroll down. As I'll be scrolling down, you can see here it says Bitcoin Ethereum. I only said the Bitcoin one. I haven't. As you all can see, the Bitcoin one is valid. Ethereum not set. Bitcoin Cash not set. Bedflux coin is not set either. And I have the address with me on the clipboard, right? So I'll click here where it says not set. I will just click here. To take me here where I need to update, then where it says Bedflux coin wallet here, I'll just click here and paste it because I have it already. Remember where I copied from. So the moment I paste, I need to put my password, I need to retype my password so that it can validate. Okay, okay, so I've just put my password now, everything is set. So what I gotta do is say. Save the info like this. Okay, they just sent a confirmation code to my email address. So I need to go get it. Then I'll press it here before I confirm. So here, as you can see, I've just logged into my email address. And it says here, yeah, dear Kudzai, someone from Soso, to confirm these changes, please use this confirmation code. So this confirmation code is so long. I cannot possibly write it down. But I can work smart and just copy it like this. Okay, go back to bed to block flux and just paste it and click confirm. Perfect. Ingenile. Everything is set now. Okay, now as you scroll down, you can see that now I have Bitcoin address, now I have Bedflux coin wallet address. So now when I click withdraw next time, valid, valid, you understand. So that's it for now. And remember to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay, so that I will do another video. For those who don't have laptops, I'm going to do another video for you, for those who use smartphones, 
okay on how to go about everything so if you subscribe it will just come through and notify you all right thank you for watching bye bye for now